Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay Poe for NCDOT Now. The North Carolina Department of Transportation's flood warning system for hurricanes and storms has won national honors. The Federal Highway Administration recently honored NCDOT with a 2024 Environmental Excellence Award for the system. The flood warning system relies on computer modeling and stream gauges to help monitor over 2,000 miles of state roads and almost 16,000 bridges and culverts statewide. The Early Detection Network enables NCDOT and its partners to better respond to hurricanes and other storms. It has been operational since 2022. The federal Real ID implementation date is now one year away. Having a Real ID can make it more convenient if you fly commercially or visit federal, military, or nuclear facilities, but getting a Real ID is completely optional. After May 7, 2025, you will still be able to fly and visit these facilities. You will just need to provide additional identification, along with your standard license or ID. More than 4.1 million North Carolinians have a Real ID. If you decide you want one too, please visit realid.gov for more info. NCDOT officials dedicated the US 321 bridge over the Watauga River in Watauga County in honor of the late Sergeant Christopher Ward. The bridge will now be known as Sergeant Christopher D. Ward Bridge, honoring the fallen Watauga County Sheriff's Office deputy and his sacrifice while on duty. Friends, family, and members of the Sugar Grove community gathered to pay tribute to Ward at the bridge dedication ceremony last week. That's all for this week's NCDOT Now. Travel safely, North Carolina.